From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Morning Edition. Thanks so much for joining us on a Tuesday, October 3rd. Let's get started. And I could not be more proud of LaFonza's interest. A historic day on Capitol Hill. We are just hours away from the swearing in of California's newest senator. So if the Democrats want to adopt him, they can adopt well, him. You're... From one historic move to another, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is facing a battle from within his own party. Whew. Yeah, you feel good after a good landing. <laughs> Soaring to new heights, dreams are becoming reality for female pilots. Ever since a really young age, I've been very fond of cooking and baking. Baking with a purpose. A Los Altos teen is turning a big win into a business. And you might want to seriously consider finally getting that lottery ticket. The Powerball jackpot rises once again. And good morning to all of you. I'm Nicole Zalumis, and we just had the Navy Quintet in studio. I'm Jazz. <laughs> yes, so great to have them here. And welcome to the Bay Area if you're visiting for Fleet Week or if you live here, going to go down to Marina Green. We hope you have a great week ahead. I'm Reed Cowan. I'm Gianna Franco. It is one of those weeks where we really get to celebrate a lot of the beautiful things here in the city. Yep. And of course, our men and women in the service, which we have one here, right here at KPIX and PIX Plus, Jessica. All right, well, thanks for highlighting that. But of course, it's the Navy's week. We have True, to give them a shout out. We'll have <laughs> Army, Army week girl. next week. I'll fly a helicopter over the station or something. <laughs> but let's start off right now with a live look outside. Just next to me, we have the Bay Bridge. And on the opposite side, we actually have a beautiful, beautiful sight of that almost sunrise down in the Santa Clara Valley, where we are waking up in the 50s right now. Off to a cool start this morning. Later into this afternoon, we're going to warm up into the 80s down into the Santa Clara Valley. So a big change there and a big change for many of us as heat starts making its appearance, especially here in the Bay Area. We have a heat dome building just offshore, and that's actually allowing for daytime highs in San Francisco right around the corner to actually hit the 80s. But for now, we're waking up in the 50s. It is off to a cool start at 702 right now. Let's take a quick look at what's going on right around the corner. Starting off with our winds, they're light for now, but it's going to get gustier, and we're actually going to see an offshore flow later into this week. I'll tell you why that's important in just a second. This is just what we're looking at into the evening hours tonight around 15 mile per hour winds near San Francisco, but later this week that offshore flow will really become apparent. This happens in the Thursday and into Friday, and that's actually going to help clear up that marine layer that's pretty stubborn during this time of year, and it's actually going to give us sunny skies just in time for Fleet Week and the air show, of course, starting Friday, Saturday, heading into Sunday. So high pressure offshore is also going to warm us up, too. We have 80s expected for us just along our coastline this week as this huge heat dome starts to build. I'll show you those numbers coming up in a bit. For now, G, I want to send it over to you. How are the roads? Busy, Jess, especially along 880. That's where we're going to start off this round of traffic. You can see that live look there, how crowded things are getting on that northbound side. As you take a look at the screen, that is the left-hand side there of the roadway, and it's busy. This is near the Coliseum, so anyone commuting uh, out of Oakland, you're going to see some brake lights there, and it stays on and off at least as you head towards the Bay Bridge this morning. It doesn't get much better south of here, unfortunately. If you're headed into Hayward or a little bit south of there, we have reports of a crash right at that 92 connector. There's a second crash in the backup now, so San Lorenzo into Hayward, a very busy ride, and that will affect your drive towards the San Mateo Bridge. I'll show you a live look at that in just a little little bit though, but we want to get updated with a developing story out of San Francisco this morning. A hit and run driver struck a woman on Market Street and then a driverless car ran over her. This was the police and fire response to the crash. It happened at Fifth and Market Streets in the city's Soma neighborhood. This was just after 930 last night. So we're told rescuers found the woman trapped under the cruise vehicle. They had to use the jaws of life to get her out. So she is currently being treated for critical injuries. Police tell us they are still searching for the hit and run driver driver who struck the woman. We're told the autonomous vehicle remained on scene and did not have an occupant at the time. So in a statement sent to us overnight, Cruz tells us the victim was tossed into the path of the AV by a human driven vehicle in the lane to its left. The AV then braked aggressively to minimize the impact. The driver of the other vehicle fled the scene and at the request of the police, the AV was kept in place. Cruz also says our heartfelt concern and focus is the well-being of the person who was injured, and we are actively working with police to help identify the responsible driver. Eyes up, everybody, and good morning to you. Those are the sounds and the sights from our nation's proud Blue Angels. Fleet Week is your community station's opportunity to honor the women and men who serve our country with all things that float and fly 
during Fleet Week and beyond. In fact, look here behind me, that's a really big one, right? This is called Fat Albert, a C-130. It's what the Blue Angels use as a support aircraft, carrying everything from spare parts to even the pilot's luggage. All right, so from the flying ones to these beautiful floating marbles here, these Navy ships, look how cool they are. You're going to see scenes like this all throughout the Bay and our nation's best right there, riding them into the Bay Area. By the way, these ships are open for public tours all week long. Well, read from concerts to high school marching bands to art exhibits, there is plenty to do during Fleet Week in preparation for the Blue Angels and also plenty of businesses to support. Our Leslie Gooden is live at the Ferry Building in downtown San Francisco with more on one restaurant that's making the most of the Blue Angels. Leslie, good morning to you once again. Oh, you have some food behind you. It is our favorite sweet treat. Tell us about this restaurant and how important yes. this week is. Yes, I'm here at the El Portenio. Let me tell you, you can literally smell it as soon as you come into the ferry building. It is amazing. I have been thinking about this for the last 24 hours. Now, while all the action is happening in the skies, here on the ground, they're taking a bite into the action too. And here at one of the restaurants, they're telling me how important it is this week is. You can find El Porteño empanadas in the heart of the ferry building. Hi, Owner Joseph Ahern says that Fleet Week is always a moment businesses like theirs looks forward to. Um, so Fleet Week is back on and we're super excited about that. We're looking forward to having that uh, come back to our, our city. The storefront has been open here for 13 years and says they are excited that Fleet Week was not canceled due to the pending government shutdown, adding that every community event like this helps the city. I mean, it's it's super important because we have, um, you know, it, it's uh, like I said, you know, the, I think the San Francisco has sort of been hit hard with a lot of um, its, its challenges. So I think we really need to bring people back into the city and kind of show, you know, show off our lovely town. Okay, that is the banana empanada that I've been talking about nonstop. But beside me is the real star here, Joseph. Thank you so much for joining us bright and early. You oh, came, perfect. you're ready. So I have to ask you, are, is there anything special that you're doing for Fleet Week? Um, yeah, we have a seafood empanada this week, um, empanada de camarones, and it has um, a shrimp and Parmesan cheese. It's huh? really, really, it's a, a favorite when we roll it out. Yes, okay, that's the favorite. Are, are you doing anything special, discounts or anything um, like that? Well, I don't well, think Yeah, I mean, that, that is our special. We also do the, um, we're also doing a 10% discount for all service people Perfect, as well. perfect. And then, of course, my favorite you got to talk about it because everyone in the studios, I, I mean, they're tired of me talking about it. But tell me what's so great about the banana one. Um, it's, so it's banana and dulce de leche. Now, typically in Argentina, there aren't um, a lot of sweet empanadas. But when I was a kid, my mom used to, um, she used to mash up bananas with dulce de leche. And so um, that's something we, we sort of brought to ourselves. And, and obviously it works. So. <laughs> yes, it is working great. And um, last question. Um, how many empanadas a day are you guys kind of cranking out? Yeah, so on average, we're, it's about 4,000 a day between all our locations and okay. our partners. Yeah. Okay, okay. And so, again, tell me the hours so everyone can know, so they can try these this amazing food. Yeah, so we're here in the ferry building between uh, 7 and about 8 o'clock, uh, Sundays till six, uh, 7 o'clock. So. Okay, and I did every promise day. every day. And I did promise everyone I can't bring all the treats back. But I am going to try this one <gasps> again because oh, that's this is not fair. This is not fair. Lesla. Uh, uh, is this the banana? Uh, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> you want to get a little close up to get <laughs> No, that's just me. That. There it's you go. Cool. Wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh no. Oh uh, my know. gosh, I'll that bring, is I'll some try. love there. Maybe Joseph will bring some back, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah. back to you guys in the studio. Yeah. Lesla, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. If you could just sneak one more in the bag for Paco, he'd really appreciate it. <laughs> CBS News Bay Area is the official media partner for San Francisco Fleet Week. We'll have special coverage all week long leading up to our Friday Spectacular. We're bringing you the Braid of Ships live at 11 a.m. with the Blue Angels live at 3.